Check, one time, honest section. What do you do? We're coming at you the day, the night after, the day after a show, little tidbit show, open mic, collective lifestyle, Reggie Rare, DJ Boogie Black, Kevin Freebird, all four just huddled up. And it was a cool little show, cool little thing. Um, but I will say some, some shit happens, but nothing crazy, nothing too wild, just a little uh, corniness, if you will, and I was, I got called out, it happens, alright, we, we live and we learn, but here's, here's the, you'll see the video, you'll see the background, but here, you'll see the video, here's the background, I mean, in it, um, just doing my thing, just doing a song, uh, the Gator Bay song, the video online, and what is it, there is a stipulation that was set in place early in the night for this, for the open mic, and the agreement was, all right, just like a house rule, like after you perform, you will hug a random stranger. And you will also play like the Jenga. They had like a house Jenga. Huge, huge blocks. Anyway, my thinking, my, my idea was like, okay, let me be the one guy to like do, was it, kill two birds with one stone, basically. And what happens is, I probably, I, mess, I messed up a couple stones. In, in doing so, my my song has like three different chorus parts, which aren't even mine. They're part of the song already, and the chorus goes for like 30 seconds each time. And so I'm figured, okay, like the second in between my verses, I'm gonna put the mic down and go and go like hug hug the random person. So I'll be like, all right, cool, he's just getting out the way. Psych, or I mean, it happens, but not the way I planned it. So I do my I do my the chorus open up do some chitter chatter open up first verse and then the second you'll see the chorus goes on and I'm like all right where's the best place I can put this mic down huh how about the the freaking Jenga blocks which are uneven and slowly gonna not be a good idea once I realize and I put the shit down and I should have known right from the get go uh, just to put it on the floor. But no, I saw like it rolled a little. The, I put the mic down. It rolled a little bit, and I was like, then it stopped. I was like, oh, cool, perfect. Turn around. Three steps later, and just less so the sound bothered me, but more so the faces everyone made. Especially, uh, I don't know if it was on camera, but the host. Um, and forgive me if I didn't get the name right. If it's Jamal, the host just gave the perfect like reaction of like he put his whole body up and just the face and just oh like why did you do that like face and I'm like and then inside I'm like yeah why did I do that but it happens all right it ha shit goes down and what and the recovery I exactly you gotta recover so I did I did my hug uh went back on stage and like Admittedly, the energy in me and definitely the crowd it definitely kind of like dispersed. But I still I had to finish. I had to get the, get the hell out of it and finish this thing. But but what happens now? All right, took an L. Shit happens, but finished. So that's the other thing. All right, you can't can't fear failure. You can't we gotta get through this shit. All right, it happens. But now the cool part is it's a it's a learning experience. It's a memory now. Be like, oh, you're the dude that did that, and like, yeah, hell yeah, I take that. That's my shit now. So that's my story to tell. I'm tell it, I'm telling you first and foremost, and just to continue on, man. All right. Otherwise, cool show, cool people, like super chill crowd, and most def. Please, if you're in the Valley area, eight one eight, Collective Lifestyle is the place to go. Open mics, I think, usually every like second Thursday of the month, or every other Thursday. Um, a vocal artillery was the people hosting it, very chill folks, and yeah man, please check it out, third channel, out and, out and about, on a section, peace, love, gratitude, take care, and if shit happens, it happens, alright, just get through it, recover.